This is one of the problems when Apple starts selling people computers with the heatsink not even touching or near the fan that the customers of Apple start to think that this is actually how aerodynamics and airflow works. And they'll do, I, so I was walking to the kitchen today, you know, saying good morning to my Apple using girlfriend. Say hi, Erica. And I noticed I heard a fan and I walked by and I could not feel any airflow. And then I realize that the fan is completely up against the wall. False. It's not against the wall. I have some space. There's no space here. I have a little This is space. nothing. Like you, you, you could put a paper over a tissue here. You're not even going to see it move. This is awful. Wait. Hold up a second. What kind of rubbish airflow is this? Look at this. Wait. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Wait. The plastic is too thick. Apple user <laughs> attempts ventilation. Okay. So can you give me a paper towel roll, please? Okay, let's, let's, engineer. let's engineer something proper here. Okay, I'm good. Does this work? Eh, paper towel roll, this is too heavy. I don't have the paper towel roll. You have the recycle bit. Okay, so hold the fan. Hold the fan. I'm gonna do this. And then right in the middle section. So it doesn't. Alright, let go. See? Now, airflow. Okay, well, hold up. Oh! It does seem a little better. Now imagine if the people that engineered the A1932 MacBook knew this. We wouldn't have dead CPUs every couple of days in the store. But you store. know what the thing is? What? It juts out so much now. Before it was closer to the wall. So it take up less space. So you care more about the appearance than the actual engineering functionality or ability <laughs> to do what's supposed to. Well, now it takes Form up, Form over function. Now it takes up, you know, um, one fourth of the walkway. Yeah, but now it works. Huh? Now it works. Now you have air. It does work. Indeed. He. All right. Time to get out of here. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.